Pro Trip coming to you live from. Oh, wait, are we live? Where are we? Where are we? You said we were live. We're in like Pennsylvania somewhere. You right? said, but hang on. You just said we were live on what? No, we're not actually live. I lied. That's boring. Um, where are we? We're in uh, Jamesville, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Um, it's snowing heavily and has been from pretty much the time that we left our little motel this morning. Kyle, how, how has your day been? Um, unexpected. We awesome? Yeah, why is that? Well, we just happened to stumble upon the Yingling Brewery because that just happened to be where we ended up last night in Pottsville, Pennsylvania. Let me take care of that. I got it, I got it. <sighs> All right, we're good. So we got a private tour. We got some free beer. We and went I in a cave, an actual beer cave. Yeah. A hun no, two, how old is that brewery? Mm, we'll just go ahead and say it's 200 years old. A really old hand dug beer cave. And we met Dick Yingling himself. And he put his arm around me and I felt very warm and tingly inside. And that was before the free beer. <laughs> <laughs> and then let's see what was what was yesterday day one of bro trip um oh yeah we got into pennsylvania yesterday and which kyle hated at first well, i didn't hate it i just the only thing i ever saw about pennsylvania was from like the interstate and it just seemed like a very weird state to me. it is a weird it is a being weird from the south here. you're just not used to the landscape up here in the northeast so anything you're not used to you're like oh that's that's weird that's true, that's how we roll. We shun what we are are unfamiliar with. But the way Colin does his road trip in is he only does back roads, so we decided to take the back roads through Pennsylvania to New York. It was worth it. Pennsylvania. And I changed my opinion about Pennsylvania, it's a pretty cool state. And I think Centralia is what did it, right? Yep. Yep. We went to a town called Centralia, which has nothing in it because there's a coal seam underneath it that has been on fire since 1962 and now all that's left is like this three quarter mile length of highway that was rerouted and is now covered in like graffiti wieners and stuff <laughs> which was a there were a lot of dicks out there um which is great if you're into graffiti wieners which you know we've seen a lot of those uh graffiti ones our travels so yeah <laughs> enjoyed it oh um, my god I know mm -hmm. yeah it's, it's uh, weird driving up here and Jesus Christ uh, oh god I think oh god yield. oh uh, god. okay we're good no we're fine we're fine and now we're going to uh, where are we heading now Boundbrook. we're heading to Boundbrook New Jersey so that we can take the train in New York City and get us some culture tomorrow. Gabby. Hey, come here. And Gabby is going to get her anal glands expressed tonight because it stinks in this truck. It smells like dog butthole in here, which is not great. So I've just been calling back the past two months. Yep. Welcome to my life. So Colin? Yes, Kyle. <laughs> you started on this trip two months ago. I did. And how, and how did you get off work for that? Um, I basically decided to have an emotional meltdown and quit my job and move into the back of my truck. Yeah, very millennial of you. It's, I am the poster child for millennialism. So yeah, Colin, and, and what did you do to the back of your truck? Um, I turned it into a hobo den. So I covered it in layer after layer of like reflective insulating stuff to the point where it looks like the inside of a rotisserie chicken oven. And I sleep back there with my dog. And uh, yeah, it's been, it's been cold and... Cold? It's been pretty good. I've enjoyed it. Is it? Yeah. What was the coldest temperature you camped out in the back of your truck in? Eight degrees. Eight degrees. 
and I look forward to many more nights of not having to sleep in single digit temperatures. Ooh, look, a snow plow. Oh, that thing's big. What are, what are you looking forward to in New York, Kyle? Uh, everything, I guess. I don't know, I've never been. I'm That's a cop-out answer. That's a bullshit answer. I don't know you gotta do something better The whole city, I Have guess. you ever seen a movie? You know it's yeah. in New York City. I know it's a, I, I don't know the city. I, I'm, I'm just... I'm gonna be very touristy. I'm gonna be one of those tourists that sticks out like a Kyle is excited to hold a sign out front of the Good Morning America studio. Oh, I'm totally gonna do that. And jump up and down. Hey, Mom! And, yeah. Which, I wonder right. how we would do that. I wonder if that's like a thing we could do. Mm. Can we just put a bunch of like graffiti wieners on a piece of poster board and wave those around in front of... We could probably get one. I, I don't know who hosts that show now. Um, the Charlie Gibson and somebody else? No, I he's on something you. else. I don't watch TV. No. Okay. Cool. I watch well, only Netflix. Mm -hmm. We're going to go to the Met, and we're going to go to the Natural History Museum, yep. and we're going to probably go act like infantile children at the 9-11 memorial, because that's kind of what we do when we have to deal with heavy emotions. So yeah, it's gonna be fun. Real fun. Real fun. New York, let's do this. <laughs> All right, that's enough for the first one.